And for AM 1260, KDUZ Sports, I'm Joel Niemeyer. Taking a look at results in the state girls tennis tournament, Class AA semifinals, Edina beat Elk River 7-0, while Rochester Mayo got past Rosemount 6-1. In fifth place, action, Mound View over Minnetonka 4-3. Third place, Elk River over Rosemount 4-3. And the state championship saw Edina beating Rochester Mayo 5-2. In Class A, semifinal action, Blake over Providence Academy 6-1. And Rochester Lourdes over St. James 4-3. In fifth place, Virginia beating Wasika 4-3. Third place, Providence Academy knocks off St. James 7-0. And the state championship has Blake beating Rochester Lourdes 6-1. State soccer tournament now on the girls' side in Class AA. Quarterfinal action, Lakeville North beats Anoka 3-0, and Wyzetta gets past Blaine 2-1. In Class A, quarterfinal action played yesterday, Blake over Bemidji 4-0, and Rochester Lourdes over Esco Carlton 2-0. Section volleyball playoffs from the area. In Section 4A, Lester Prairie Holy Trinity, they beat Bethany Academy 25-10, 25-19, and 25-13. And it was Mayor Lutheran thumping Community of Peace 25-2, 25-11, and 25-12. On the schedule for today now in the state tennis tournament, individual play starts off today. Local participants competing include Caitlin Kiefler of Annandale. She's in the singles competition. Over in doubles, Glencoe Silver Lakes team of Mary Arnold and Jackie Stifter also take to the court today. State soccer tournament in the Class AA boys played today. Rochester Mayo plays Eastview. Anoka takes a Minneapolis Southwest. Maple Grove tangles with North St. Paul. And Blaine plays Eden Prairie. In Class A boys, St. Paul Humboldt takes on Prairie Seeds. Sartell versus uh, Rochester Lourdes today. Cloquet Esco Carlton takes on Benel St. Margaret's. And Mankato West plays St. Paul Academy. Section volleyball around the area. In Section 2, AA, Sibley East is at Belle Plaine. Watertown Mayor goes to Holy Family. Norwood Young America travels to Mound West Tonka. And Glencoe Silver Lake on the road at Jordan. Section 2A, Springfield is at ACGC. And Buffalo Lake Hector Stewart goes to Bold. Girls swimming today, holding Ford at Litchfield, and in college football tonight, Minnesota State Mankato, they're hosting Augustana. And supporters of expanded gambling at Canterbury Park and running aces believe they're still in the mix to help pay for a new Viking stadium. Racino spokesman Ron Rosenbaum says adding a couple of thousand video slots at the tracks could raise up to a quarter billion dollars for the state. They help pay back the school shift to fund a Viking stadium if they want to do it, to literally just go into the general fund. We don't care. But we are money that literally is, you know, we're the low-hanging fruit. Rosenbaum says passage of Racino would also help the horse, construction, and hospitality industries. He adds that 80% of the people of Minnesota support Racino. That's a look at sports for today. We have sports action coming up for you 